please. Allow me to show you something. guys thank you for clicking on my video so today i just wanted to kind of go over a few things because moving to a new state can be kind of tricky and it can be a little bit scary at times um but i found that using these apps um helped me out a lot and this is just to name a few of the apps that i was able to utilize okay so you know how moving to a new state sometimes it can be expensive sometimes you don't really know anyone and it's a little bit hard, so you got to try to, you know, get out there and meet people. But, you know, initially, all you know is working wherever you're going to be staying, right? So, you want to get out there and be a little bit more sociable, but money kind of funny. Um, just different things like that. So, I'm going to show you a few apps of um, where you can get out and meet new people. Um, and, you know, if your money's kind of funny and say you started a new job, uh, and like I did, I left most of my stuff back, uh, in Ohio, up north, and I had to start all over because here in Florida, they have like warm days and they have like cooler cold days. And I was just under the assumption that, um, Florida was so hot and warm all the time and that is not true. So I had to, um, kind of revamp or uh, change up my uh, wardrobe a little bit. And some of these apps kind of helped me, you know, get some things taken care of, get some of the things that I needed, you know, and not cause me to um, have financial issues, I guess I should say. Um, so without further ado, let's just go into, I mean, go into the uh, apps. So the first app I want to talk to you guys about is Meetup. Meetup is a website that you can, or app that you can go on and you can meet new people, form groups or join groups. Um, I joined the Christian single 40, 50s and 60s. They have different events going on. Um, you can click on the events. It'll tell you the date, the time, the location. It'll tell you the host. It'll also uh, tell you about the theme of the event. Um, and you can click to, well, once you've been accepted into the group, you can click to join the event and partake RSVP and all of those things. The next one is Eventbrite. Eventbrite is just like different, um, uh, like concerts and plays and bingo and just different things that's going on in the areas near you. And you can click on them. You can also pay uh, for the event, you know, through the website and it'll show you the tickets. It'll give you the location and the time as well. Um, and like I said, that's something that you can take advantage of as well. Um, just to get you out there and to meet new people and engage and see what's going on in your area. The next one is Living Social. Living Social is a lot, lot, lot like Groupon. And the reason why I say that is because it um, it does things like show you different events that's going on. It also show you different items that you can purchase and, um, you know, different things that you can partake in. Coupons, all kind of stuff. It's so much like Groupon. I showed you the Shell Factory here because in another video, I actually went inside the Shell Factory and I recorded that and put that on the video. If you want to see that, I'll put that down in the bio. Um, the next one is Klarna. Klarna is like a buy now, uh, pay later sort of app that you can use. Um, and it'll give you a certain amount of buying power, um, that you can either shop in store or you can do it online. And, um... It'll give you like the list of different stores that it, you know, works with. Um, and I just love this app. Um, it gave me a very large amount of events. Um, you only have to pay 25% of whatever your total is for each um, store that you go into, whether it's online or in store that you're utilizing. So yeah, I really like Klarna. And it seems like right now that a lot of different stores are migrating towards Klarna. So that's good.
The next one is Afterpay. Afterpay is also a lot like Klarna, where you uh, buy it now and you pay it later. Um, the difference is um, this one, I think, Pay After is like it gives you four different installments to pay. Um, and it doesn't give you that much buying power as Klarna does. But again, it's also an app you can utilize. Say you want to buy some things, don't have all the upfront money. It's a great app to get. The next one is quad pay, which again is a lot like the uh, buy now, pay later, except I believe this one you can also use it not just to buy uh, items, but you can also use it to pay bills, um, which I thought was super fantastic because, you know, not all the time do you want to just, you know, buy items, you know, you have extra things you need to take care of, you know, because you're, you know, moving to a different area. So I love these apps. They are wondrous i really like them and i think that you will like them too the next one is my fave fave his name is dave um and he's like a pay advance he uh give you advance money through your bank account um i love it um he also shows you how to budget different things like that and he'll put the money directly into your account a few minutes after you get the advance as usual, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell somebody else. Bye!